Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and you can see, with the exception of you know little moves here, little moves here, I mean, basically what we've got is you just got this little zone where we're dealing with the vast majority of price. So they knocked it down. They made a lower low, but then we spent the last six going on seven sessions just kind of jammed in here in a very wide range. So, I mean, there's a lot of trading that can be done intraday, but we're not really going anywhere. Um, and that makes me wonder, really, if the bears are capable of going anywhere deeper than where we've been. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. None of it is bullish, yet here we sit. Um, so you've got the 200-day exponential, which has been resistance very consistently. You got the 20 day uh, simple moving average, the middle Bollinger Band, which has stayed resistance. You're seeing the nine day now. I'll be interested to see if we interact over the top of the nine day today or whether the nine day holds kind of the way it is now. But you can see they made it right back down. They printed, they, they printed 42.38, pretty close to the lows from back on the 25th, which was 27 half. And, you know, a little lower than what they did on, the, on, uh, on Monday uh, a week ago. But, you know, it's just in a box. So what, do, what does each side want to do? Well, the bulls want to get on top of the daily mid. They want to get on top of the 200, get back to work on the 50 and the 100 day exponential if they can, and get back to those two moving averages where, you know, way back on, on February uh, 9th and February 10th, that's where they, that's where they chucked it. Um, the bears, I mean, you got to break this one. Then you got to go back after this. And you have to challenge it and you've got to make a lower low. If you do that, if you can do that, it will open up a decent, a decent amount of elevator shaft to the downside if they can pull that off. Um, but I think everybody is just kind of in a holding pattern right now trying to see how is Ukraine going to play out? What's the Fed really going to do versus what they're not going to do? Although they've absolutely telegraphed what they intend on doing. Um, and as some of these unknowns become more known, then this little box gets resolved. So what that box looks like on an hourly chart is basically all of this here. Um, the intraday trading inside of this has been very whippy. You've seen some 10, 20 handle, you know, overshoots and give backs and stuff like that. I mean, I had at least three or four 30 handle middles last week get completely reversed, stop that on the runner. And all I was trying to do is just get in a runner to let it work for a little while. And there were some of those trades, but not a lot. A lot of really violent candles. These are hourly candles. There's a lot of violent stuff going on in the middle of the tape. Um, as we head into today, uh, they bounced it pretty well since just before 6.30. You've got volume weighted average price sitting at about 74. Hourly mid bands at 81. That coincides with our proprietary moving average. You've got the, the five minute mid band that got tested just after eight o'clock that now is up at 43.02. And you can see up above, you got the nine day and the daily pivot 43.24, 43.25. And just above that is the new weekly pivot at 43.30. Wouldn't be surprised if 30 got a look. If they're going to engage it, though, then I want to see wh where we close above or below. So I think it's going to stay whippy. It's going to stay choppy. It's going to stay, you know, pretty indecisive. And I wouldn't be surprised if we basically carved out a trading range today between 43.30 and 42.80. So, you know, basically between that, you know, VWAP hourly mid-band area and the nine-day weekly pivot area. Again, it's consolidating, but it's consolidating in a very wide range. You can get a lot of things done. Please respect risk. Please don't walk away from this tape without a stop. Take your profits where you find them. Don't try to get cute, because if you get caught on the wrong side of a news bomb away from your desk, depending on what that news bomb happens to be, you won't have an account anymore, literally. Don't screw around in this tape. Stay on your toes. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.